Einstein field equations, perhaps one of the most elegant, beautiful, yet highly complex field equations that describes the nature of reality. This is the central equation of Einstein's general theory of relativity and it tells that gravity is no more acting as a force but it is a curvature of space-time. This equation also elegantly explains what is matter, the content of matter, how it shapes our understanding of the geometry of space-time. Have you ever wondered why it is called Einstein field equations? However, you can just see one equation. Well, that is something very interesting and we are going to explore in this series of videos. Einstein field equations have two sides, just as any equation would do, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. But hold on, what are those R, mu, nu, g, t? Well, we are going to explore. These are the various tensor components and I'm going to explore you and explain these components one by one. First, let us understand overall what this equation means. Well, on the left hand side, if you look into this equation, this is what is called the curvature of space time. As I told you that gravity as perceived by Newtonian mechanics is no more a force, but just as a structure or a curvature of space time. So the entire left hand side of this equation beautifully explains how the curvature can be measured. There are different mathematics which we'll go later into it. As you can see on the right hand side, this equation comprises what is called the matter content. That means imagine a trampoline where there is a ball or a heavy weight. This trampoline is called the curvature, which is the left hand side. And the right hand side is the matter, that is the heavy ball or the mass. Obviously, if mass is not present, how would the trampoline curve? How would the space time curve? So in all of it, what we can say is that the right hand side actually measures the matter content. What, how much matter, how much momentum, density, flux, etc. are contained on the right hand side. On the left hand side, the entire equation talks of how the curvature is being measured. So we can say that the curvature and the uh, matter content are evenly balanced and that is what the Einstein field equation tells. How much matter is present, how do we measure the matter and how this matter causes a change in the curvature. Now the question is also that, that why it is called the field equations? What is the significance of being called as a field equation? Well, in order to know that, you have to subscribe to my channel, General Relativity Explained, and you have to watch out for the next video where I'm going to explain what do we mean by field equations.